questions, questions, questions. Everybody's got those questions. Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the seven, seven questions you must ask the agent that's trying to sponsor you into eXp and you'll never believe. I'm going to unearth some questions that they never tell you that you should know. But we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is your host, Jesse Dow, coming to you with another episode of the Cloud-Based Real Estate Brokerage Podcast, where I partner with the industry's leading real estate agents, team leads, and broker owners, and get a behind the scenes peek under the tent and get their story of what made them want to partner with eXp Realty. And if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And honestly, I have so many agents, owners, and team leaders reaching out to me and want to join eXp and ask a lot of questions and I absolutely love it. So if you want to get a hold of me, you've got to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even send that pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of me, I got your back when making a move to eXp Realty. All right, so you're thinking about making a little movie move over to eXp or maybe even join it for your first brokerage. You know, I've done tons of videos in the past about, you know, new agents joining eXp, previous uh, current agents joining eXp. Maybe you're a broker owner, maybe you're a team lead. Whatever it may be, you know, me, myself, and my upline and the support that I roll with, we got all of our bases covered and we got you covered if you have any questions. So like I always say, you know, feel free to reach out. I love helping everyone, but I'm going to give you seven, seven pro tips and questions that you must ask any sponsor that's talking to you about joining eXp. And the first one is, do you even sell real estate, bro? I mean, come on, because here's the story and here's the situation. There's a lot of agents that actually do nothing but recruit. And this will prevent you from being partnered up and sponsored by the wrong agent. So if you actually work with an agent that does nothing but recruiting, guess what? You're probably going to come in. You're probably just going to be a number to them and they're going to bounce and leave you. So question number one, like I said, do you even sell real estate, bro? Question number two you should be asking is what type of value do you add? You know, what are you going to do for me? EXP is going to offer everything to everybody. KV Core, SkySlope, DigiSign, 50 live trainings a week, health benefits, stock options, revenue share. What else are you going to add? Because when you come to EXP, this is a time for you to take a pick and choose exactly who you're going to partner, partner up with. So it's very important that you find out exactly what value add they're going to bring to the table. Number three, three, who is in your sponsor's upline? Who's the additional resource and the additional support that we're going to get? Because not only is your sponsor a support tool for you, but also so are the five agents above him, the five supporting sponsoring agents above him. So you have to be able to lean on your entire upline. I sell myself as a team, myself, my sponsor, his sponsor and his sponsor and his sponsor and his sponsor. You know, you get the value of working with all of us. I own a video social agency. Uh, you get to use all of my resources at cost or free. Uh, I also partner with the number one real estate coach in the country. He helps out a lot. Chuck Fazio, the biggest independent real estate broker owner is in our line. He helps out a lot and so on and so forth. We're part of an exclusive group that hands off um, tons of referrals. So that's something else that's super important. And this leads me in right into number four, is are you going to have access to a private referral group? Because over here, I've been able to give my agents that I've partnered with out over 30 referrals in six months. Yes, 30 referrals that have actually closed. We actually just missed uh, two referrals the other day because the fire there was fires here locally. And we had a couple agents that couldn't take on the uh, the business. So you know if you if you're not getting some out value add in a referral network, I'm telling you right now there are some fantastic uh, referral businesses out there. Number five is ask your sponsor if they're willing to jump on a recruiting call for you because when you come on to EXP, whether you're a recruiter or not, people are going to reach out to you. And let me tell you, the revenue share alone is worth its weight in gold. 
I don't actively recruit agents, but what I do is I do sponsor a lot of agents and because I give a lot of value and I add a lot of support. So now I naturally have agents that want to join me. Here's the deal is if I have agents that don't even aren't even available to jump on a call and they have an agent that wants to join us, guess what? I take that call for them. My sponsor, Frank, he jumps on calls with me all the time. So that's something that you have to ask is, are you going to be able to lean on this sponsor to get on phone calls, whether it's training, are they hosting once a week calls? You know, what, what additional things are they doing to help add value to you? And that kind of tied back into the first one that I mentioned, or the uh, number two, this all actually kind of ties in to question number six, which is what is your sponsor's vision, goals, and expectations of the real estate industry? Because this is very important to your real estate career. If you're someone that wants to focus on doing video or say Facebook ads, then you need to partner with somebody that believes in those systems and is also practicing real estate to get those specific things done. Because if you're a, a huge YouTube agent or trying to get into video and execute at YouTube, which is what we specialize in, then you don't want to partner with somebody that doesn't believe in video. I've already been down that path before and it absolutely sucks. And it's a huge life suck. You don't ever want to be part of that specific uh, type of, um, you know, support system because it will just be like you're fighting an uphill battle. And once you list your sponsor, you cannot switch it. You're tied into that person unless you leave for six months. And I've actually had two agents uh, come back to EXP because of us, you know, so uh, that were previously here quit and came back. I call it the quit and come back campaign kind of a political thing we're in a political year so that kind of makes sense but it's nothing that I ever want uh, anyone to have to do so just choose your sponsor wisely um, and that'll all be done that should be taken care of and then number seven the, the seventh and final one is ask your sponsor if you can speak to three agents in their downline I'm willing to bet that a lot of the people that you might be talking to might not even have any agents in their downline but if they do talk to three at least you're gonna be able to get a very good grasp on what value adds your sponsor and the supporting agents play into their uh, systems. Be and the reason that this is important is because you're gonna see what reality looks like. A lot of people make a lot of promises up front that they can never keep. I hear it every single day. I hear it all the time, Jesse, I came to EXP, I was promised X, Y, and Z, and I'm not even getting, I'm not even getting a T. You like my little play on letters there? Cheesy joke, I know. It's not even a dad joke quality. But what I'm saying is that people make a lot of promises and don't execute, and I see it every single day. And it's super um, disappointing. You know, they're, um, you know, sadly, you only have to have a real estate license. And we all know the bar to entry is very low. So, you know, what can you expect? There's just gonna be some bad apples in every bunch. And I know there's a lot of agents out there that, you know, and depending on what geographical territory you're at, um, EXP means different things to different people. You know, there are some states and some areas like where I live, EXP is looked at as one of the most premier real estate brokerages. Um, and it's, it's, it's crushing it. You know, uh, over in the East Coast, North Carolina, South Carolina, EXP is huge. Um, you come where I used to live in Oregon, uh, EXP was very small. There was only 600 agents there. Uh, out of um, you know, 10, 12,000 agents that were at eXp. So it was very, very small and there's tons of room to grow. But if you want more information about eXp, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And honestly, I am getting so many phone calls, so many text messages, so many emails, team leads, broker owners, and top producing real estate agents always reaching out to me, wanting to talk to me about eXp, just because they know that I'm gonna give them the cold hard truth. And here's the deal. I'm not a hard sell. I'm the easiest person to get a hold of. This is how I built my entire real estate business was 100% through organic YouTube. It's probably how you found me here. And I absolutely love talking to people and helping people at the highest level and building companies that can help set you free financially and help uh, add value to other people. And the only way you're gonna be able to get a hold of me is by shooting me a text, sending me an email or giving me a phone call. Days, nights, weekends, 365, 24 seven, I got your back when making a move to EXP. And until next time, I'll catch you later.